Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to install FFMPEG on Windows 11. So let's get started. Start by opening your browser and typing FFMPEG download in the Google search bar. Click on the link to the official FFMPEG website. On the website, find the download section and click on it. Under Windows, select the Windows XE Files option. Click on the first link labelled Windows Builds from Gian.dev. Scroll down the page until you find the latest Git Master Branch build section. Download the file labelled FFmpeg Git Full to your PC. After the download is complete, right click on the downloaded file and select Extract All. Click on Extract to extract the files. Once extracted, Rename the folder to FFMPEG. Right-click on the renamed folder and select Copy. Go to This PC and then C Drive and paste the folder here. Now to set the environment variables, open the Start menu and type CMD. Right-click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. In the Command Prompt window, you'll need to enter a specific command which is setx in small then space slash M, space path in the capital, then space, and add quotation marks. Then to get the exact path, go to your C drive, then FFmpegs folder, and then the bin folder. Copy the location path from the address bar. Paste the copied path in the command prompt, and then add colon, percentage, path, percentage, and double quotation marks. Press Enter to execute the command. You should see a message that says success. After executing the command, restart your PC. After restarting, open the start menu and type CMD. In the command prompt, type the following command to check if FFmpeg is installed correctly. FFmpeg space dash version, press enter. If everything is set up correctly, you should see the version details of FFmpeg. And that's it. Your FMPG is now installed and ready to use on your Windows 11 PC. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have, and I'll do my best to help you out for free. This newsletter is completely free and will always be free. So click the link in the description to sign up.